Hey, what is up guys? Your boy, Quality of Life with Andy. So, today I have a... Uh, today I want to talk about something that's been... Something bothering me a little bit. And, oh wait, and actually as you can see... For you Star Wars fans up there, I got a poster of Leia. <laughs> By anybody Star Wars? Star Wars anybody? Alright, so... I want to talk about a little bit of uh, economics. And politics, I guess. Um, so... I was watching a video on YouTube talking about why Argentina uh, fell all of a sudden and why Japan rose from all, from the early 1900s all the way till now. <clears throat> so basically in the video, uh, um, I might post the video on YouTube on the link below. Um, so the video says that Argentina, Argentina used to be one of the most wealthiest countries in the world in the 1800s, in the 1895. It was right there with America and United Kingdom and I think Canada and Belgium and Australia, right? So it was Argentina, United States, United Kingdom, Belgium, I think it was the Switzerland and then Australia, right? So basically these five countries were the, were the wealthiest, were the, the richest countries in, an 18, in 1895, in the 1800s basically, right? And a lot of Italians were actually migrating down to Argentina. And if you've been watching the news for the past year, for the past year or so, you will find out, you, you will know already that Argentina is in shit right now. Argentina has, has gone from, it's now a socialist country. And we have seen in real life what, a, what socialism will do to your country. <laughs> and some people say that, oh, well, no, 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 socialism, some... Socialism works for some countries. Argentina has a population of 45 million people, and yet, boom! Here comes socialism. Everybody's in poverty. They say, like, well, one in, th one in three people, one in three people live in poverty in Argentina. Not, not, ten, not, a not one in a hundred, not, not, not even one in ten. One in three people. So that means out of, like, six people you meet, two of them are living in, in, in poverty. As to see, as to oppose, let's say America or Australia, you know, maybe one in one hundred people will live in like in like real, real fucking poverty, right? <clears throat> I mean, I mean, if you've seen the prices in Argentina, like how fucking toothpaste costs like fucking fifty dollars. <laughs> toothpaste costs toothpaste like to brush your teeth. It costs like fifty dollars, some shit like that. I don't know. But like it's like things that things that will cost like five dollars at the fucking grocery stores now they cost like they have ridiculous prices. And now what was it like? Uh, some socialist party were like handing out fucking toilet paper to people and shit. It's like, man, man, oh man. This is socialism, guys. And people and the, and then you get the Bernie Sanders people saying, yeah, free college, yeah, this, free this, free that. You want to live in a socialist society? What people don't understand, if, if, you, want, if you want things like free, you know, um, universal health care, uh, free, free college, free this, free that, somebody has to pay for that shit, dude. Somebody always has to pay for the free shit that you get. That's what people don't fucking understand. Okay? That free college, somebody's paying for it. The taxpayers are paying for it. It's coming out of somebody's pocket. The government takes it out of the taxpayers. And if you want more free shit, guess what? The, the president, the, the, the uh, state, uh, the government has to increase taxes so they can extract more money from the people and thus giving you all the free shit that you want. And so it's not really free. Somebody's paying for it, motherfucker, you know? Somebody's paying for, for, for that free shit. Somebody's paying for, all the, you know, the, for that Bernie Sanders, you know, free everything program that people wanted. And I hate to get a little political here, but I, I, I want people to understand the cost of... See, when, when people think, oh, we should get free things, it's not really free. It, nothing is ever really free, you see... There's 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 a price for everything. Even even things even things that are free does not come does not come with some type of long term commitment. 
let's take the universal income for example the the the, the uh, what you call it the universal income um let's say that for example let's say if the government was to was to was to give people that were unemployed <clears throat> let's say that the robots and artificial intelligence they come and take millions and millions of jobs right and the and the, and the government says okay universal health care i mean excuse me universal income right and the government says we're gonna give one thousand dollars to every individual to every unemployed individual right do you not think that the <laughs> do you not think that the government is going to want you to do something either daily or weekly or monthly in order for you to get those you know that one thousand dollars per month even with unemployment when you're on unemployment they want to see that you're that you're constantly applying for jobs. That you're not just sitting at home on your ass doing shit. The unemployment office, they always, they, you know, they want to see that you're actually making a, an attempt to to apply for other jobs, right? That's that's you know that's the you know your it's unemployment. You get unemployment checks, but it, you know <laughs> there's a commitment. The commitment is you gotta look for employment while you're unemployed, you know. And it's the same thing with you know the like the, the whole Bernie Sanders program the you know the I mean universal health care I mean Japan can afford universal health care they have it and I think you know you know universal health care that's something that we definitely need because you know um, although it's good, although it's expensive on, on, on the, for the taxpayers uh, it is something that you know we need as a as a whole as you know as human beings universal health care but there's other things like free college. If you want to get educated, you know what? Fuck that. That's that's on you. You're responsible for your education. You know, don't try to make, don't try to put that burden on somebody else. Um, and then there's other free things that people think that they should get. I don't know. It's like nobody wants to work for anything anymore. You know, people are afraid of hard work. And I'm saying this maybe it's because I, I, I came from a third world country in the Caribbean, and I'm used to working hard for my shit. I mean, nobody gave me shit. <laughs> Uh, you know, and I, I you know, and then I, I see all of you people that are raised here in America, and it's kind of embarrassing, really. You know, <clears throat> so going back to socialism, socialism, socialism has proven to lead to poverty, and capitalism has proven to get people out of poverty. Capitalism creates opportunities, socialism takes away opportunities. Okay? Capitalism rewards the people that work hard and socialism punishes the people that work hard so that the lazy can, you know, prosper. You know, think about that for a second. Socialism leads to poverty. Capitalism um, gets people out of poverty. I mean, think of any other system on the planet that has gotten us out of poverty. And, and, that is, and, and I know that, you know, there's along the way with capitalism, there's been contamination. There's been some corruption. But, but, guess what? There's also been really good corporation, good people that are capitalists that have done really well and they've never hurt anybody. And, you know, they build legitimate businesses and, you know, and make, and create a wealth for, wealth for themselves, you know, in, in a legit, genuine, and, you know, well-civilized way. Yes, capitalism does have its flaws, its flaws but you cannot deny you cannot deny that capitalism is the reason why we are here. Okay, this is the reason why America is a great country. Is the reason why Japan rose from the fucking ashes. Why Japan is one of the you know it's right up there with you know the top ten most wealthiest countries on the planet. Capitalism is the reason why why the Chinese are making a fuck ton of money. Capitalism is the reason why so many people keep coming to America year after year after year after year. From refugees all over the world, America keeps attracting immigrants. Why? It's because of capitalism. Because they're, you know, because they're shitty socialist countries, they're shitty communist countries. It's not giving them any opportunities. Only capitalism creates opportunities for people and gives them an opportunity, a chance for for their family to to prosper. You know, because even if you come to this country and you work at a regular job, you're you're way better off. Than living in a socialist or communist country, you know, you're fucking way better off, <clears throat> man. And I, I've, I've went on, I've been on, I went on a rant here, but I just want you to think about that, guys. <clears throat> think about Argentina. 
Argentina was was one of the wealthiest countries, 1895. And even after 1895, it kept it continued to be one of the richest. And then it dropped, of course, it dropped because of mainly because of World War One, World War Two. As a matter of fact, Argentina managed to stay out, to stay out of World War Two. They managed to stay out of World War World War Two, and save save millions of lives and save a lot of money. And yet, even after that, boom! Here comes socialism. Goodbye. It's not the richest country in the world anymore. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh man! I can't wait to I can't wait to see the comments. I cannot wait to see the comments. Oh my god! All right, it's a ten minute video. It's gone on ten minutes now. Um, I'm gonna end this video, guys. And look, just think about it. Capitalism gets people out of poverty, not socialism, guys. Peace out.